Hey everyone, today we're going to do my breakdown of the Ordinary and Neod for the Slovember sale. So every year in November, uh, Decium does a month-long sale that they call Slovember. And the entire purpose of the sale is to give shoppers plenty of time to kind of assess what they want to purchase, if they want to purchase anything at all, to get a discount, and really to not feel kind of that rushed urgency to shop, shop, shop. I have like 25 products. So I am going to, of course, show you my color-coded ingredient deck. I'm going to give you a quick blurb about each product, and then I am going to direct your attention over to my blog. I'm actually going to have every single one of these listed on a blog post with that color-coded ingredient deck. I think this will be helpful for people to kind of narrow down and weed out the things that don't really apply to them, and then maybe find some really great products that do apply and get them at a fantastic discount. We're going to start with one of the ones that I think is the most interesting. This is the Pycnogenol. Now this is an antioxidant. Looks like this. This comes in a half an ounce. I think that that is noteworthy because the rest of them are one ounce and it is kind of a orangey oil like serum. Pycnogenol actually comes from the pine tree. It comes from a French pine tree and it is a very very profound antioxidant now this one would be good for brightening the skin this is great for antioxidant protection now pycnogenol is especially good at protecting from pollutants and studies are showing that pollutants are actually nearly as profound or have as profound effect on our aging process as sun damage. You use it one time a day. It's great for dullness, for brightening the skin, for antioxidant protection. And it also has um, a texture that can lend to making your skin feel a little bit more nourished as well. So that is the Pycnogenol. That's our first product. Next one is going to be the AHA 30% uh, BHA 2%. This one is that red, 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 it's like that. It is a peel and it is several alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic, tartaric, lactic, and then of course it is salicylic acid. So the entire purpose of this is to exfoliate the surface of your skin in like eight minutes weekly and it helps to brighten the skin, helps to get rid of dullness, helps to alleviate blackheads and congestion, but it's definitely something that um, if you are a total newbie to alpha hydroxy acids, etc., I would probably be very cautious with this one. If you're a super experienced you know chemical peeler this might feel like not much of anything to you so you have to really assess where you are as far as your journey with alpha hydroxy acids because this is definitely more potent than just your average alpha hydroxy acid toner or something like that next we're going to talk about the amino acids plus b5 this one is exactly what it says honestly that's what all of these are they like to be very clear in the title of the products it's then um, assessing whether or not those ingredients apply to you. That's going to be on the blog, and I think that that's where that is gonna come in really, really handy, is to see in black and white what each of these actually does and whether or not that applies to something that you're interested in treating. Now, the amino acids plus B5, B5 is panthenol, so that's gonna be very, very hydrating and nourishing and soothing and it's a, an amazing ingredient. The amino acids are of course gonna be great for anti-aging. They're gonna be helpful in um, you know, preventing fine lines, they're gonna be helpful in collagen uh, production and just overall skin health. So this one is one of those that is very, it's very targeted at hydration first, I would say is going to be its main benefit with that panthenol and soothing. And then it's also general anti-aging. Now this one is a thin serum. Looks like that, comes in a one ounce bottle. Mandelic acid 10% plus HA. Now mandelic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. So it's like glycolic acid and lactic acid. And so it is a an exfoliant. Mandelic acid comes from almonds and it is very brightening. It is great for hyperpigmentation, great for textural irregularities. And it's also really good 
for overall kind of glow to the skin. It's a larger molecule, so it sits a little bit more on the surface of the skin and does its exfoliating there. So it's more gentle than like glycolic acid. It does a lot of its work on the surface, kind of like lactic acid. Now, of course, this one also has hyaluronic acid, so that means it's going to be hydrating along with exfoliating. This one looks like this. It's a little bit thicker serum. So that is the Mandelic 10% plus hyaluronic acid. Resveratrol plus ferulic acid. Now, resveratrol and ferulic acid are both antioxidants. This is just a very simple, straightforward, potent antioxidant serum. So this is gonna help with brightness, it's gonna help with dullness, it's gonna help with overall protecting your skin from environmental aggressors. Antioxidants, in my opinion, are really fantastic paired together. Antioxidants like to party together, and then they're really, really great as an augment to your sun protection. So for me, antioxidants are preferable in the morning with my vitamin Cs and my other antioxidants and then my sun protection. So this one looks like this comes in a nice opaque bottle, which is great with antioxidants because they are, of course, affected by light. It is kind of a mid-weight serum. And again, I would use this with my other antioxidants and my sun protection. The next one is the Marine Hyaluronics. This is gonna be just an absolute super hydrating type of serum. So if you are dry, if you have dullness because of your dehydration or your dryness, this one might be nice for you. It is a thin serum that just packs a punch of hydration. Salicylic acid 2%. This one is, there are a couple of these that are salicylic acid. This one is the one that is uh, non-water, no water in it, and it is perfect for blemish prone skin. Now, I just did a video about salicylic acid. Basically, it is a beta hydroxy acid, and it is fantastic if you have acne, if you have congestion, if you have blemish prone skin. Salicylic acid likes to go after oil. You can also use it as a disincrustation solution if you're somebody who likes to use tools that help with congestion, like if you like to use skin spatulas or you know some of those kind of tools you can saturate your skin in salicylic acid first and use it as a desincrustation solution to kind of loosen stuff up before you go in with your tools that will push the congestion out it makes the tools a lot more effective when you have softened up the um, dirt and debris. Next is gonna be the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. This is one of my all-time favorite products from The Ordinary. It is jam-packed with a ton of fantastic, you know, peptides and uh, things that are great for your barrier function, humectants, and then of course it has that copper in there. And copper is integral in so many processes in our skin and just really fantastic as an anti-aging ingredient. So this is a superstar as far as I'm concerned with The Ordinary. Now, you will see that it's kind of a little bit of a thicker gel serum. It's, it's definitely not thin in any way. This is really, really great after cosmetic needling. So if you are somebody who is considering doing cosmetic needling, you might really like this one, but it's a gorgeous product from the line. One of their superstars as far as I'm concerned. Next up is going to be the EUK A134. This is just a super, super powerful antioxidant. This is gonna be great if you have dullness, if you have uneven skin pigment, so if you have hyperpigmentation, it is just super potent. So it looks like this. Again, this is also in the one ounce bottle. All of these are in one ounce bottle except for the pycnogenol, which is in a half an ounce. So you can see that this is kind of a brown, a, an amber brown color. And again, it is just a super, super antioxidant. They have this in a concentration that is probably the highest on the market. Um, I think it's 0.1% that is in here. This is another one that is incredibly intriguing to me. Okay, now we have the ascorbic acid, 8%, alpha arbutin, 2%. Okay, so ascorbic acid is your active form of vitamin C, 8% is is a lower on the lower end of the a percentage of vitamin C but it's still just at the very base of what I would consider to be an effective percentage. It is low, but that's going to really lend 
to um, people who are sensitive to it may be able to use it without any problems. Now this also has 2% arbutin. Arbutin is a pigment inhibitor. So it inhibits tyrosinase, which is an enzyme that is integral in the um, formation of melanin. And then it should also help to slowly improve hyperpigmentation. So it looks like this. This one also comes in that opaque bottle because ascorbic acid is, a, is definitely uh, sensitive to light and it looks like this that's what it looks like next one is going to be the multipeptide plus HA this is just buffet renamed so we have buffet plus copper peptides that we already talked about then this is buffet so this is just everything but no copper peptide so if you didn't want to do copper peptides you didn't want to worry about you know interaction between that and ascorbic acid or anything like that this is good old buffet renamed it is exactly the same formula just has a new name this is an anti-aging powerhouse this is the other one of the other star of the shows as far as I'm concerned from the line. It's a beautiful kind of gel serum and you can use this morning and night and it's just going to help with firming the skin, fine lines. It's going to help with hydration of the skin, overall anti-aging, really a beautiful multitasking product from the line. And honestly, I feel like it's way ahead of so many other things on the market and the price point is still really, really reasonable for what you are getting. Next is going to be the Argyroline Solution 10%. Argyroline is the one that is, you know, Botox in a bottle. It's supposed to help with, you know, muscle contraction, with dynamic wrinkles. So you can use Argyroline in a spot fashion, so maybe on your 11s or your crow's feet. And over time, it's supposed to help with that muscle movement in a very gentle way, because it's a topical, that is also supposed to help so those lines don't get etched into your skin. Now, I think that Argyroline is especially beneficial when paired with cosmetic needling. So you give it an avenue of actually getting into the skin. So you could use this Argyroline 10% with a derma roller on your dynamic lines for best results. That's my opinion on this Argyroline. It looks like this and it is perfect paired with cosmetic needling. Next is going to be the salicylic acid 2% mask. So this is to me more for people who are oily or acne prone. If you're dry like me, you could use this in areas of congestion as a spot treat. Like sometimes I will do just T-zone area. It's a black mask because it has charcoal in it and it comes in a tube and it also has kale and clay. So it mops up oil. It's definitely something that is perfect if you have you know, an overproduction of oil. And if you have congestion, if you are acne prone, you may like this one. This one would be a great one to um, give to a teen, something like that, because, or, or if you have oily, acne prone skin as an adult, this one would be really great for that. It's helpful in that congestion, getting rid of blackheads, etc. Because again, it has that 2% salicylic acid, which is oil loving, which is going to help to loosen up dirt and debris, which is going to help keep your pores clear, which is going to help to alleviate acne, etc. Okay, next is going to be the salicylic acid 2% solution. This is the one that is water-based. So one of them is not, one of them is. I will definitely notate that on the blog so that you could differentiate. Looks like this. This one is simply 2% salicylic acid. So once again, it's a desincrustation solution. It's going to help with uh, pores and blackheads, etc. So it's kind of a mid-weight, kind of a little bit thicker of a serum. And next we have the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. I have all these in boxes, you guys, because as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm actually packaging these up and giving all of this away to some people in my Facebook group. So I'm putting them back in the boxes because I am gifting all of this stuff. This is glycolic acid 7%. And it is at a 3.6% pH. We just talked about that recently, how pH and uh, alpha and beta hydroxy acids have a very careful dance together. Well, this one is at a great pH. It's going to be effective. 7% is not too high. So it's going to be relatively gentle. Glycolic acid is an exfoliant. So it's going to help with cellular turnover. It's going to help with texture. It's going to help with dullness. Glycolic acid is also um, known to help with collagen stimulation. So this one is really great if you talk tolerate glycolic acid well and you are kind of in that anti-aging but you're still fighting you know like textural stuff and um, you know blemishes etc you might really like this one but it is 
pretty gentle. So I would say if you're relatively new to glycolic acid, this one might be a good start for you to assess how you tolerate it. So that one, and it's huge, you guys. You get a lot for your money with this glycolic acid. It's a great, great glycolic acid-based toner. Next is the azelaic acid 10% suspension. So azelaic acid is fantastic if you have dullness, if you have acne, if you have hyperpigmentation, if you have uh, redness. In the United States, it's by prescription at, I think, 20% at with uh, Phenacia is the name of the brand. So a lot of over-the-counter products have 10%. Still very, very effective and known to be on the lower end of irritating, so you can use it more often. I still say when you start out on azelaic acid that you start slow. I, I have gone in before over over the top with azelaic acid and wound up kind of dry and I had to back off and kind of reintroduce it. So definitely if you're gonna start out on azelaic acid, even though it says you can use it every single day, sometimes twice a day, start out slow a couple times a week and work your way up, but it can really, really help with hyperpigmentation, dullness, redness, all of that stuff. Really great and fantastic for acne. So that is azelaic acid, uh, 10%. Okay, as far as Neod is concerned, we're gonna start with the fractionated eye contour concentrate. This is probably one of the only eye serums that I've ever loved. It is so great. I got this at the sale last year. I loved it. I did not end up repurchasing it until I had it was gone for a long time. I repurchased it and remembered why I loved it so much. I try so many things that sometimes that can, even if I love something, I can end up forgetting about it because I'm trying three more things. This one is really good and not only do I like it, my gosh, last year under my video for this sale, the number of people who raved about this particular eye product was insane. Now for me, this is something that I would use in conjunction with an eye cream. So this is not to be, for me, I use this under it. It's a serum, it's very, very thin. I mean, as eye products go, you can see. And I just use this underneath an eye cream, typically at night. But it is a beautiful product that actually does make a difference in the way the skin all around your eye looks. I put this on my crow's feet, I put it underneath the whole thing, and then I usually put an eye cream over it. Next is gonna be the Copper Amino Isolate Serum. This one is now all in one bottle. You don't have to do any mixing or anything like that. This is probably the best copper peptide serum on the market as far as I am concerned. It is expensive. So if this is not where you wanna spend your money even on sale, the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides is an absolutely great option and it's a lot less expensive. This one is more of a dedicated copper watery serum. So you will see here. And this has been my favorite for years. Now there are others on the market that are really, really good. Dr. Picard has his VIP serum that is absolutely excellent as far as copper peptides are concerned. I think it's like 3%. It does have a fragrance, which I don't love. This does not have a fragrance. This one is just really good. If you're into copper peptides, you probably already even know about this if you are into copper peptides. It's a great time because it's expensive and now you can get a discount. Probably my favorite product from Neod. Next, we're gonna just talk about the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist. This has been in my life for years, I love it. Superoxide dismutase is a massive antioxidant, I mean, just an incredible antioxidant, and then a saccharide is gonna help with hydration. So this mist is relatively expensive. You get a huge bottle of it, but it's like $50. So I usually try to get this at the sale every year. This year I had to buy this um, ahead of time because I ran out just so I could actually show you. So I paid full price and I was like, oh. So this is a great thing to get if you like this to get it on sale during the sale. I will say that this is the only thing. This and the copper peptides from Neod. If you are wanting to try these, th those are the couple things that I probably would not spend the whole month waiting because in the past they have run out of this and they've definitely run out of the copper peptides. So I do not want you to feel an urgency to buy anything that's the opposite of the point of the sale and of my blog. I want you to take your time if you're considering anything but this and the copper peptides do sell out and they don't always replenish them before the sale is over. So just know that. If you don't get your hands on this, it's not like it's the end of the world, just so you know. It's really, really great. There's lots of really great out there. Okay, okay you guys, that's everything. I do have a few more things here that are nice that I'm gonna list on the blog. 
but I know that this video is going to be way too long already and I'm trying to speed through to begin with. So I hope that this was helpful. Check the description box at the very top will be a link to the blog where you can look at all of this information and more and then I will put it in a pinned comment down below. Okay you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.